there are a couple of different BGP attributes that are really confusing to me. And I want to show you what I learned about, well, BGP Med. Join me next. Before we jump right into it, make sure, of course, you subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as to hit the bell for those notifications so that you can see more of these videos. Now, as we get started here, in terms of learning about MED, this was something that absolutely confused me. As I'm going back now and reviewing everything for BGP, I'm coming across, of course, the AS uh, path uh, attribute there, as well as the idea of MED to help us to decide what is the best path selection that we can have. So as I configure them both, I realize something that they do just about the same thing in terms of the results. But the only thing that really seemed different is that I could actually see that the MED was limited in terms of what it would actually influence, which was the next neighboring autonomous system. But the uh, autonomous system path itself could actually go beyond that next autonomous system as well. In other words, it could influence more than that too. So I was very confused about which one to actually choose in what particular situation till it finally clicked on me as I continued to actually run over both of them and tried to actually distinguish what the difference was between them. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot more differences, but this is the key for me when it finally came down to it. Let's take a look at my diagram and this will kind of help us out. So when it comes down to the way that the AS path ended up working for us, in terms of how we'd actually do pre-pending and to be able to do that, well, the key here is when we're actually trying to influence that, we're actually working with multiple autonomous systems. So we take AS65123, if I'm actually choosing which path I want to influence to get access into my autonomous system here, I can go from router two or router three. But notice that what they're connected to is gonna be AS65004, or AS65005. Well, that is a perfect situation if we're gonna use the idea here of the AS path itself and prepending and what we're going to do. So I finally figured that out after a couple of rounds of actually trying to do both of them and seeing what the real difference was. Now, what does that mean that the BGP med or multi-exit discriminator does is this instead. Over on the right-hand side, uh, I have router three and router five, and both of them are actually connected to the same exiting uh, uh, AS number, which is 65005, um, right? So when we actually take a look, there's only two autonomous systems involved there. So if I'm actually saying that from AS 65005, I want it to actually take, well, the path on the left, which is the dot .35.0, or I can say I want to take the path on the right, which is the 53.0. Well, I'm actually going to use the med value to help the inside of 65005 to choose which of those two that I want to come in to my own autonomous system. So that's the real big difference in making that work when it comes down to it. So make sure you understand that as you actually get ready and as you continue to prepare for your lab. I know that those of you that have been working with it on a daily basis, you understand that. But if you're like me and it's been a while since you've actually gone over this, this was kind of one of those eye-opening aha moments that really kind of at least, you know, made me realize that this is what's going on. Now, let's take a look at how we're actually going to configure this to make this uh, understand or to help us to understand this a little bit better. So if I go over to router five, we can take a look here and we can see, for example, here is a route inside of autonomous system well, 65123. So that's actually perfectly fine for us. And the one that we're really focusing on is going to be right here. Notice where the path actually only goes to 65123, whereas that last one, it actually hops around the other way instead. But you can see in terms of the next hop, one got chosen, 60, uh, the uh, 192.168.35.3. And then the other one, which is right beside it is 192.168.53.3. That one did not get chosen as valid and best. Well, what if we want to use the 53.3 as being the valid and best route? Well, the med value, of course, is actually going to be one that is based on the lowest med value that we can have as well. So you can do this in a couple of different ways. I went ahead and I configured some route maps to help us out. 
to show route maps. Oops. Um, oh, not right there. It's on router three. So that doesn't help. Show route map. All right, so here's the two route maps that I actually ended up making. I made one and I called it Med B. I made another one I called Med A. And I went ahead and set a metric for everything. One, of course, to 350 and the other one to 700. And we're actually gonna get the lowest one, if I remember uh, correctly here as we do so. So now that I've got those created, I now need to assign it to a neighbor statements that will, of course, make that work for us. So let's go ahead and get, do that as well. So we're gonna to go to our global configuration and then into our router configuration. And this is gonna be 65123 for our BGP. Then for our neighbor, 192168, this is gonna be 35.5. I'm gonna do route map. And this one, I'm gonna set one to the med A, because this is the one that's already set to accept it. So I'm actually going to do med A at this particular point. Then I'm telling it to advertise it out of my own autonomous system number here. Then we're going to actually kind of change this up. We're going to do 53.5. And this one we're going to change to, well, med B. So notice that should assign the different metric, or yeah, med values that we actually have to those neighborships and that should be perfectly fine for us if i actually set it up correctly the one that i wanted should be fine and then we're going to clear ip bgp and i'm going to do a soft and that should got kind of do everything that we need it to so at this particular point if everything is actually kind of working the way that we hope that means I should be able to go to router five and router five is the one that should show me that this is actually taking place and is different since that's what the med is doing is saying, hey, here's how you actually get access into me uh, as well. So let's go over to router five. And so we see the preview before. So this is the original one that I showed you. And notice that the 35.5, that is the best and valid path at this point with nothing else actually kind of being set. Now, if we run the same command again, oh, let me just do a show, pbgp. And now you can see the difference here. So as I highlight this, notice now that the 53.3 has now been selected as the valid and best path and we can see the metric that I set right there as well. And that helps us to be able to understand this. So even though this might not be the most exciting video that you've seen, it is one that was an aha moment for me and hopefully it will also stick for you. So make sure you continue to stay tuned for this CCIE journey and I'll see you on the very next video.